but for now it's just going to be a integer, a long integer, so integer unsigned, not null, user age, integer unsigned, not null, user country, var car uh, 100, there you go. And then just to write the primary key, the primary key is the the row that the column that you want each user ID to have a unique um, identifiable ID with. So that's going to be our user ID. So primary key is like a, a student number or your your SIN number or your uh, or your driver's license number. It's unique to you only. You're the only one who has that specific number or ID. And since we're using MySQL, we have to type in engine MyISAM because that's how MySQL runs. That's the engine that runs MySQL. And now that we've created the SQL uh, instruction, we have to execute it once again. <laughs> so you have to create instruction and execute. So MySQL, down here, MySQL, and then uh, the instructions variable name, which is SQL, once again, from up here how to connect to the database uh, dollar sign CN which we define at the very very top and just to make sure that everything ran properly and to give notice to ourselves that this thing worked let's say echo or type this out say the table user has been successfully created in the database t-shirt factory bracket bracket go to login page so this is just a link back to the login page so you don't have to type it back in the URL address. It makes things easier. And if we go back to our little demonstration that I showed you earlier, that is basically this page. So if I'm able to get to it, there you go. This is what we just created. Actually, <laughs> never mind. What, what we just created, I'm going to show you. We're going to um, see, the, see what the install database.php file does. So because this file that I just created is in my personal computer and not online, I have an online version, but I'm just showing you the local host version right now. So I'm going to go where my file is located. So if you go see it up top here, there's the address. I'm just going to type that right back in. My science free tutorials rock. Of course they do. And uh, tutorials, user login, and then install database.php there you go it says the table user has been successfully created in the database t-shirt factory and go to login page and there you go that we just have the basics now we have to create the register.php page so this button actually works now I've already have I already have all the the files done so it shows up but if it if if there's no register.php page, basically what will show up is like object not found, the, the, the file has not been uh, located, so an error message like this shows up. But since we have done it correctly, this is what we're going to make next. This is what our next uh, file should look like at the end. So to create that, we have to go check out what I wrote in the register.php page. Now once again, I already wrote all the code. Um, it's much easier to help you understand this way than to individually type every single line. It just takes too much time. If, if I was doing a smaller tutorial, I'll do it that way. But just for the sake of this one, I just had too many files, too many, uh, too many lines of code to type. So I did them pre-made. Pre and if you have a hard time following along, you can just download it first and then follow along with the files open on your personal computer. So you don't have to type anything at all. <laughs> I don't try to promote laziness, but when they get promoted uh, I just like that, then of course there's nothing I can do. <laughs> so if we go back here, register.php page. Uh, once again, this top part is not really necessary for all I care. It can be HTML tag, just like that. I, I guess I didn't really streamline this code to the perfection of it, but I'm just going to leave it there because it's what I uploaded on my website for a download, so that's what you're going to get. <laughs> but you don't really need it for now. So once again, this is just a normal, normal HTML form very easy just titles registration page 
register in your account, form, form action is going to be commit to register.php, method is post so your information and your password doesn't get posted in the URL address which is what happens when you use the, the get method instead of the post method which is basic HTML. If you don't know what um, what those are, I, I highly suggest you Google them up. It's very easy to just the first first few results should tell you what they are. So once again, desired username is right here. Desired username, input type, text, username, password. So input type, if we put password, it becomes like that. There's you can't read it. Whereas if it's normal text uh, input, you can see what the text are text is <clears throat> and once again pay attention to the names name user username for the password it's going to be user user password and then for the password retype user password uh, confirm then user age user country and um, there you go that's what we created and now we have to create the commit register.php page. That's where the form data that's entered is going to be sent to. And this is this file is going to be where all the information is parsed, uh, interpreted, and inserted into the MySQL database. So commit underscore register.php is a very important um, important file. And uh, if we go here, actually, I just remembered I didn't show you what the commit uh, register.php page is, so I'll get to that after this one. But they're very this one and the but the two files are very similar. So once I show you this one, you'll understand what the commit um what I don't know what I'm talking about. Sorry about that, guys. I got a little bit off track. This is the commit register.php page. Sorry about that. I just got a little confused. I don't think I had my morning coffee today yet, so I'm a bit um, not organized in my brain. So when we go to the commit underscore register dot php page, we have once again the doc type def defined at the very uh, top of the page or top of the file, and this time we're not going to create an HTML specific page. We're going to create a more PHP page. So this is the first PHP exposure that I'm actually giving you. So we have the opening PHP tag, which there's also an ending PHP tag right here. You always have to create an opening and ending one. And we're going to define a few variables. We're going to define a variable for the username, user password, user password confirmation, user age, and user country. So I already defined those by typing them out here. And for, for defining them, this is what we're going to use for this file. And 